How's it everybody and welcome back to another episode of Linso Fishing. Today we're going to do something a bit different. <clears throat> um, weather hasn't been really conducive the last few weeks for fishing. You know, it's either been a complete blowout, the sea's been way too big or the sea's been way too flat. So myself and another, and another mate Mario, we went out last weekend. Um, water was not quite what we were expecting. Um, it was a bit on the bigger side. But there were a, little, a few fish around. Uh, Mario did end up getting a proper, proper uh, chalun at Ars Bankies. Then we had a seal pull into the hole. And, and he came in, the fish shut down, was a light switch. After that, nothing else happened. I will put that footage in um, just now. But just something a bit different in this, in this episode. I'm actually going to show you guys how we, or myself and a couple of other my mates, do a chalun trace. So if this helps you guys, please be, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And please, if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button. It'll really help. Thanks. Okay, so this is the Khalyun trace that myself and a few mates use. Um, this trace we use to catch Khalyun, um, all our bank fish species here in, in False Bay. Um, and Khalyun does, uh, in Afrikaans they say Villepert, um, a zebra. You get our stump nose species. And then obviously every now and then we're lucky enough to get a, a white stem rust as well. But the white stem rust, that's a different trace on its own. So what we use, Maxima Ultra Green. This is 0.42. This is our sinker line. This is the Maxima Ultra Green. This is 0.55. This is the hook snoop. Obviously what you need, a pair of scissors, a three-way swivel, which we use. I'll explain that just now. Uh, a flotation little baliki ball hook and then obviously the toothpick and then your sinker now this on the sinker i've seen a lot of guys that have shown this as well before so you tie the your sinker line to the this is obviously a piece of braided leader line um it works out cheaper than what dacron is so you tie this your sinker line onto this and obviously as this is coming when you're reeling it in hitting the rocks this hits the rocks instead of your line hitting the rock which will cause it to break off so just a little trick that we found to work. So let's get into it. So obviously I'll need a bit of hook line or hook snoot. This is a 3.0, a 3.0 hook. Um, that's a, that this specific brand is the same size as the other brands in a 2.0. So that's, I, I prefer this hook, it does work well. So first knot is a normal figure eight knot. Once, come on, twice, three times. Just open it up, clench it down, wet it a little bit, and pull it down tight. After that, take off the tag end. Now, for something else I do, on the three-way swivel, I look for where it is furthest apart from themselves, if I can call it that. So it just helps me to stop tangling and whatnot all so that we can put aside. Then obviously the flotation. Now the flotation is not always needed depending on sea conditions. If the sea is flatter than normal, then I will use some flotation. If not, then I don't use any flotation. Obviously this is personal preference and whatever works for you works for you. All right, another figure of eight this side and obviously trace length i prefer a shortish trace it's about 25 30 centimeters two three again just open it up and then cinch it down cut off the tag end and then some sinker line same thing with the sinker line just a figure of eight knot open it up lube it Cut the tag end off. And now for something else. Now the <clears throat> the length of the sinker line is is specific to everybody else that what they use. But what I prefer it is as short as possible. So and that is the trace. Right. So there is. Three-way swivel, bit of flotation with the hook, obviously the sinker, 